Hello everyone and welcome to Early Morning Prayer Requests and Devotions. I hope everybody's doing good. On our prayer request, Brenda from Maniac Grammy's Homestead is sick. Pray she feels better soon. Vanessa's brother-in-law, Ed, is still in the hospital. He has liver cancer and possible liver failure. And Vanessa, do you have any, if you have an update on uh, Ed, please let us know. It's been a few days. Uh, Jill Bird's legs and hips are hurting. Pray they get better. Enlightened by Grace for You is expecting their fourth baby in May. Pray all goes well with the pregnancy. And Diane Vernia had wrist surgery on this past Monday and it went well. Pray she recovers and gets to go home soon. Also her, Diane's brother Bill passed away this past Tuesday. Pray for comfort for her and the family. Kim's friend Lucy that lost a twin gave birth to Christopher Michael. He weighs three pounds, three ounces. Sharon's father-in-law has had two strokes. Pray he gets better. Sharon and her husband have gone without a fridge for two weeks. Pray they get one soon. Maria V is having knee surgery. Uh, well, she had it Friday the 24th. Pray it went well. Jackie Howard is doing well after surgery. She's on antibiotics for three weeks now. And pray for the families of the victims in the mass shooting at uh, Kroger uh, in Tennessee. And well, there was several. Uh, also, there was a lot that were, um, you know, injured. I think there was like fourteen. So just remember them. That's awful. All right, our uh, scripture of the day comes from Psalm 42. As the deer pants for streams of water, so my soul pants for you, my God. My soul thirsts for God, for the living God. When can I go meet with God? My tears have been my food day and night. While people say to me all day long, where is your God? These things I remember as I pour out my soul, how I used to go to the house of God under the protection of the Mighty One, with shouts of joy and praise among the festive throng. Why, my soul, are you downcast? Why so disturbed within me? Put your hope in God, for, he will, for I will yet praise Him, my Savior and my God. My soul is downcast within me, Therefore, I will remember you from the land of the Jordan, the heights of Hermon, from Mount Mizar, deep calls to deep. For in the roar of your waterfalls, all your waves and breakers have swept over me. By day, the Lord directs his love. At night, his song is with me, a prayer to the God of my life. I say to God, my rock, why have you forgotten me? Why must I go about mourning, oppressed by my enemy, by the enemy? My bones suffer mortal agony as my foes taught me, saying to me all day long, Where is your God? Why, my soul, are you downcast? Why so disturbed within me? Put your hope in God, for I will yet praise him, my Savior and my God. Okay. And our devotion today is entitled, God Knows We Feel. Feeling overwhelmed, Sierra grieved her son's flight with a fight with addiction. I feel bad, she said. Does God think I have no faith because I can't stop crying when I'm praying? I don't know what God thinks, I said, but I know he can handle real emotions. It's not like he doesn't know we feel. I prayed and shed tears with Sierra as we pleaded for her son's deliverance. Scripture contains many examples of people wrestling with God while struggling. The writer of Psalm 42 expresses a deep 
longing to experience the peace of God's constant and powerful presence. He acknowledges his tears and depression over the grief he's endured. His inner turmoil ebbs and flows with confident praise, praises as he reminds himself of God's faithfulness. Encouraging his soul, the psalmist writes, Put your hope in God, for I will yet praise him, my Savior and my God. He's tugged back and forth between what he knows to be true about God and the undeniable reality of his overwhelming emotions. God designed us in his image and with emotions. Our tears for others reveal deep love and compassion, not necessarily a lack of faith. We can't approach God with, a raw, with raw wounds or old scars because he knows we feel. Each prayer, whether silent, sobbed, or shouted with confidence, demonstrates our trust in his promise to hear and care for us. What emotion have you tried to hide from God? Why is it often hard to be honest with God about difficult or overwhelming emotions? Unchanging Father, thank you for assuring me that you know I feel and need to process my ever-changing emotions. And Lord, I want to pray today for everyone on our prayer list. Please help all of them with their different needs and help anybody out there that's been affected by the virus. In the Lord's name I pray. Amen. I hope you all enjoyed this early morning prayer request and devotions. If you did, I hope you'll press that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. And hit that so you get all my videos as soon as they come out. Everybody, I hope you have a great morning. And I will be seeing you later on on Morning Coffee Break. Bye everyone and God bless.